Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly, uh, not the monthlies, the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to wish you guys happy holidays to each one of you guys. Uh, wishing you guys the very best for this year to come. I also want to give you guys a few updates. For those of you guys that are interested in personal consultations, you can now find our services or um, get your consultations on our online store. You can find the link at the end of each video as well as uh, the description box below. Uh, our link is on there as well. I want to give you guys an update in regards to people impersonating me. Um, we've had a few YouTube channels shut down because they were pretending to be me as well as on Instagram. And I recently came across someone else that was impersonating me and that was actually charging clients for readings and not providing those services. You guys, I want you guys to know I do not solicit. Um, I don't solicit my business. I don't put myself out there. I don't send messages telling you spirit is telling me this message about you. Like I would never do that. So if you guys get those type of messages, immediately report those accounts. These are fake people pretending to be me, um, trying to take your money and not give you any type of service. So just be mindful about that, you guys. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe and like. Hit the notification bell to get the updates. Uh, of all the videos that are coming up, we have the new tarot series that is going to be starting on Sunday. Pretty excited about that. Um, as well as a bunch of spell videos uh, to assist you in kicking off this new year. So with that, let's get into your reading. All right, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, what are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance? All right, so we have cards flying out already. So we're just going to pull these out. These are a little bit too many of the cards, but let's go with it. So the first card here is the Six of Wands. And this is the energy of the person or partner that you're currently dealing with. Um, immediately when I see the Six of Wands, it's speaking to me about ego. It's speaking to me about a person that could be extremely stubborn, not really wanting to bring their guard down and expecting you to come towards them. The next card here is the Four of Wands um, and the Six of Wands, sorry, the Six of Wands looking towards the Four of Wands does speak about a person that um, is looking or wanting to create some type of stability in this connection. But I feel like ego is too big, as you guys can see here. Uh, the man is on top of the horse and it's looking down towards the four of wands. So it could be a person that is stuck on their behavior, stuck on their old patterns. Um, a person that perhaps is even promising or has promised you some type of commitment or of a doing of better or doing better. Um, but with the four of cups, I feel like it's empty promises. I feel like they're not being completely honest. I do have the three of wands here indicating to me it could be at a distance um, if you're dealing with someone from a distance and they're trying to portray or show you, convince you is what I'm hearing, convince you that they're wanting to build something. Um, I feel very heavily like they may not be completely honest with you only because the three of wands is coming out um, and the four of cups here. Now the next two cards is the six of cups and the five of cups. This is indicating to me external energy. So I feel like for some of you Scorpios, you're going to be dealing with someone that is coming back around that is very connected to you in regards to the past. So this could be a previous partner um, or someone that you were with in the past where there's some type of regret and they're wanting to rekindle or wanting to reconnect. You guys keep in mind that we do have Venus going retrograde. So this is going to bring up certain themes about the past in regards to relationships. And unfortunately, sometimes that brings people from the past. So I do see that unfolding for you guys. I'm going to put the cards back in. Um, and we're going to get into your ring. I feel like that those messages were specifically for some of you guys out there. Okay. What are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding their love and romance? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding love and romance. All right. So we're starting off here with the Princess of Wands. 
So I do see that the person of your interest, the person you're dealing with, is going to be communicating with you for the month of December. Um, I feel like it's very fleeting type of energy, so it could be through text or social media, uh, communicating or opening the links to communication. Now the next card here is the Five of Swords. So we go again back to that of stubbornness type of energy. The Five of Swords with the Princess of Wands is communication that opens up or communication, um, them communicating with you. Um, but I feel like it's, you know, very strongly having to do with like um, pride or a person that is going to be very challenging in the month of December only because they feel the need to have to prove themselves like they always have to be right um so it could be you know arguments here and there um that are really petty arguments is what i'm hearing um but this person has the need to like prove a point or to stand their ground or to be like on the defense mode only because they feel like that's the way they show strength even if the person wants to um communicate better with you i feel like they're holding back um so it could have been a situation where there was some type of argument or some type of miscommunication and i don't see them really trying to address that situation so if you're dealing with a partner or person um that is not wanting to address like the real issues of the connection I feel like they'll randomly text you just to gloss over whatever it is that you guys are currently going through or having to address. And I feel that they're doing it in a very egocentric way. So again, it's not wanting to deal with what's bothering or what's triggering in the relationship. I feel like it's random text. It's like kind of when you get in an argument um, and then they just stop texting you and they ignore you. And then like two days later, they text you like, what are you doing? That type of energy. Now, the next card here is the Queen of Pentacles, maybe dealing with Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, and yeah, this is definite stubborn energy. I don't see much progress in this connection for the month of December. Um, what I am seeing is being challenged in regards to communication or the way they communicate. The next card here is the Four of Pentacles. So they are extremely reserved or extremely uh, guarded at the present time. Could have been a situation where you felt like there were certain things that you guys needed to talk or you need to address and i feel like there's a refusal of it and they could do it in a form of either stop communicating for a couple of days and then they reach out like i said glossing over the real issues uh so the month of december i feel it's going to be very challenging for you because i'm hearing you're going to be losing your patience okay so be mindful about that now, the card that we have here for the Oracle is, yes, it is too late. Um, so for some of you guys, it could be a situation where you guys have been needing um, highly to address certain issues in the relationship or in the partnership. And I feel that the refusal to do so is pushing you to the limit. Like I said, I do hear that you're going to be very challenged in regards to your patience. So for some of you guys, it could be deciding um to embrace that of the five of swords and stand your ground um for others of you it could be walking away from this uh situation or from this connection um and i feel heavily like you are if it is you the one that's walking away scorpio i feel like you're walking away oh you're walking away very like heavy hearted because you've been putting a lot of effort and energy in this connection um but what they're telling you right now is don't resist it um it's it, there is a need of like emotional maturity and i feel like they're very immature so you could have outgrown this uh, situation or this relationship or this connection i don't see much progress in the month of december um because i do see like a bit of stagnant energy and it's because both of you guys are extremely guarded i want to wish you guys the very best happy holidays to all of you guys and we'll see each other soon